I'm Mary Hartnett with a look at Siouxland Public Media News. The field is set in the race for Nebraska's first congressional district. Democrat Patty Pansing Brooks and Republican Mike Flood will be on the ballot also for a special election on June 28th. That one will be to fill the final months of Representative Jeff Fortenberry's term. Both are state senators. Fortenberry resigned following a conviction for lying to the FBI about a foreign campaign contribution. The special election was scheduled for the same day as Fortenberry's sentencing in federal court in Los Angeles. He faces up to 15 years in prison. And federal officials are reporting today Iowa's COVID-19 hospitalizations are increasing. And according to federal numbers, 124 Iowans are hospitalized with COVID-19, a significant jump from 68 last week. The number of positive tests have also increased in the past week. State officials report more than 3,800 positive COVID-19 tests have been confirmed in the past seven days. As for vaccinations, the state reports 58.5% of all Iowans are fully vaccinated against the virus, the same percent as last week. Counterfeit medications are showing up in Iowa, which federal authorities say are not only dangerous, they could be deadly. Special Agent Mike Cassell with the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration's Omaha office says the fake pills are becoming very common. And in the Omaha area, as in many areas of the United States, they also see a lot of meth. The DEA is also finding drugs laced with fentanyl, which can be deadly in very small increments. And that's a look at Siouxland Public Media News. I'm Mary Hartnett.